All right, let's jump right in. We are about to explore what is without a doubt the single most important and honestly the weirdest experiment in all of physics. It's a test that peels back the curtain and shows us the absolutely bizarre rules our universe is running on. I mean, that sounds like a question straight out of a comic book, right? But believe it or not, this is the exact puzzle that has stumped scientists for more than a hundred years. And the answer the universe gives us, well, it's stranger than you can possibly imagine. And this is where the double slit experiment comes into play. It's so simple, you could almost draw it on a napkin. But for over a century, every time we run it, it spits out results that just completely shatter our common sense ideas about how the world is supposed to work. To really get our heads around this, we've got to rewind the clock, way back to 1801 with the physicist who had no idea he was about to kickstart a scientific revolution. So, this physicist, his name was Thomas Young, and his setup was just genius in its simplicity. He shined a beam of light at a wall, but in front of that wall, he put a barrier with two tiny parallel slits in it, and then he just watched to see what pattern the light made on the screen behind it. Simple. Okay, so think about it. You really only have two possible outcomes here. If light is made of little particles, like tiny bullets, you'd expect to see two bright lines on the screen, right? One for each slit. But if light is a wave, like ripples in a pond, then the waves passing through those two slits are going to overlap and interfere with each other. You'd get bright spots where they add up and dark spots where they cancel out. And what did Young see? It wasn't two stripes. It was a full-blown interference pattern, a whole series of bright and dark bands. And that was it, the proof. Light behaves like a wave. It somehow spreads out, passes through both slits at the exact same time, and then interferes with itself on the other side. So for a hundred years, that was the end of the story. Light's a wave. Case closed. But then, a new generation of physicists came along and asked a much crazier question. If light can do that, what about, you know, actual stuff? What about matter? Enter our test subject, the electron. Now, this isn't some ghost-like wave. This is a real, physical thing. It's got mass, it's got an electrical charge. For all intents and purposes, it should act like a microscopic bullet. There's no way it should be able to be in two places at once. Right? So they set up the experiment all over again, but this time they used a special device that could fire electrons one at a time. And this part is absolutely crucial. There's no chance of electrons bumping into each other or something weird like that. We fire one, we watch where it lands, and only then do we fire the next one. So what's your gut tell you? What should happen? We're firing individual particles one by one. Logic, common sense, everything tells us we should just get two simple stripes on the screen, just like we would with tiny bullets. But that is not what happens. As thousands of these individual electron impacts build up on the screen, one after the other, they form a wave interference pattern. I mean, just let that sink in for a second. This result is the whole mystery in a nutshell. Each individual electron, a single piece of matter, had to have acted like a wave. It had to have gone through both slits at the same time, and then somehow interfered with itself. It's a result that just seems to fly in the face of all logic. But if you think that was weird, just you wait. The story gets so much stranger. Physicists were just as baffled as we are, so they decided they had to peek. They had to know which slit each electron was really going through. And what they found, well, it's almost unbelievable. So the idea was really straightforward. Let's just put a tiny little detector right by the slits. A device that can go beep when an electron goes through the left slit or boop when it goes through the right. We're just going to watch. A simple act of observation. First, let's just run it as a control. With the detector turned off, so we are not watching, we get exactly what we saw before, that classic, beautiful, wave-like interference pattern. No surprises there. Everything's normal, or quantum normal. And now for the bombshell, the absolute mind-bending twist. The second you turn that detector on, the instant you measure which slit the electron goes through, the interference pattern completely vanishes. Poof, it's gone. And what are you left with? Two clean stripes, exactly what you'd expect from tiny bullets. The very act of looking at it forced the electron to stop being a wave and start acting like a particle. And let's be crystal clear here. This is not some weird theory or a thought experiment. This observer effect is a hard scientific fact. It has been verified over and over and over again in labs all across the world. They've done it with photons, with electrons, and even with huge molecules made up of over 800 atoms. The result is always the same. So, what on earth is going on? Is the universe just messing with us? Well, not really. 
The answer, it turns out, is baked right into the incredibly precise and powerful mathematics of quantum mechanics, which actually predicts this will happen. The core idea here is something called superposition. What quantum mechanics tells us is that before you measure an electron, it doesn't have one single position. It exists as what we call a wave of possibility. It's a mathematical description that includes all of its potential paths, going through the left slit, the right slit, both, neither, all at the same time. And this is the key. When you put that detector there to measure which path, you're forcing that wave of possibility to pick one. You're forcing the universe to choose. The act of observation itself collapses that fuzzy wave into a single definite reality. Now the electron is a particle at one specific spot, and all that strange wave behavior just disappears. Now, I know what you might be thinking. This is all just really strange, abstract, philosophical stuff. But here's the thing. These bizarre quantum rules are the absolute foundation that our entire modern world is built on. The microchip in your phone, it only works because of a quantum effect called tunneling. Lasers, they exist because we understand quantum energy levels. MRI machines that save lives, they're based on something called quantum spin. And the next generation of quantum computers, they are being built to take direct advantage of the exact things we've been talking about, superposition and interference. So you see, this one bizarre little experiment isn't just a party trick for physicists. It's a direct window into the fundamental operating system of reality. It's an introduction to the very rules that we have to understand to build the incredible technology that powers our lives every single day. So if you take one thing away from this, let it be this. At the smallest scales, things don't exist in the simple, solid way we're used to. They exist in this sort of ghostly state of potential. They are waves of possibility, only snapping into a single, concrete reality at the moment of measurement. This isn't magic. It's not mysticism. It is just the way reality actually works when you get down to the nitty-gritty. The universe plays by a set of rules that are far more subtle, complex, and frankly more fascinating than our everyday lives would ever suggest. And the double-slit experiment is our proof that reality is so, so much stranger than it seems. That's it. Reality officially got wrecked by two tiny slits. Drop a comment. Which part shocked you the most? Like the video if this deserves to blow up and subscribe for the next one. Quantum entanglement is even wilder. See you in the next episode of Reality X Decoded. <laughs>